Hey y'all, my name is Ye, I use she they pronouns. I am a second year PhD student in psychology and welcome back to my channel. Okay, y'all, so I wasn't planning on doing a day in my life, but I figured I might as well because I perfected my head wrap today and I'm just like, y'all need to see this. Somebody need to see this. Or I might turn this into a day in, a, a week in the life video. So I am about to be on my way to class. I have a class on community consultation. And so we're like meeting with the head of the organization and everything to start the process of evaluation and strategic planning and implementation and figuring out what it is that they need from us as burgeoning uh, consultants. So the purpose of this course is really to allow us to experience what consultation could potentially be like if we decide that we want to do that as a career, like as a part of our professional aspirations. And reading the textbook, they have things in there where they're like, do you have these soft skills? If not, this may not be the, <laughs> the field for you. And I was reading it and I was like, this might not be for me, um, but I have it as a class. So I'm excited to at least try it out and see how that goes. So I'm gonna take y'all with me. Hopefully I remember to record something when I get there, but okay. We'll see you later, okay? Okay, get the booty in there, all right. I just had to do like, <laughs> I just had to do like a 12 point, 12 point turn to park in between this pickup truck and this car, but it's not, it's not entirely my fault. They parked over the line. But anyway, the point is I'm in the spot. The process increases it. Your trust in the environment and the people you're working with and critique. But I want to jump into the chapters. Hi, sweetie. So I got a bunch of groceries. I'm gonna end up going back to campus because I have lab, my mentor and the research team and everything. So I'm just putting away my groceries. I'm gonna eat some soup, pet Wednesday for a second, charge my phone for like two minutes. And then I'm gonna end up having to go back out the door. I can't remember if I told y'all or not, but I perfected the way to keep my bonnet on underneath my head wraps because these things are not silk. And I'm like, it has never sat right with me how your hair might get all rubbed and all stuff on a material that's not, you know, <laughs> Good battle. Uh, hey, oh, look, garden. We had a long day, didn't we, Snookums? Ready to go to bed? Okay. Hey, y'all. Uh... Um, so today, what am I doing today? So today I have to go to seminar, which is an hour long meeting that we have once a week where we meet with, I guess it's not really our supervisor, but we meet with like the staff of the place that we're doing prac at and we learn new skills. So it's kind of like professional development. And then I teach and then I have class myself. So let's get to it. <laughs> Hi, you say good morning? Okay. <laughs> All last year, I was worried about um, how I was going to dress in these settings. And it may have seemed like I was over exaggerating at the time, but I really wasn't because I could not have anticipated that this year I was going to need to be in business casual like five days minimum. Two seconds later. I decided I'm gonna wear my fuck racism shirt today. I'm so excited, like, like, and in the back, hold on, hold on. Can y'all see that? Who the show did I pull up at all? Just in case it gets cold in the building. Okay. Now I am ready for seminar. That's where we're going.
So this is my classroom. I have 34 students. I just finished um, teaching. So I just erased the board too. I wish I had kept it so y'all could have saw, but we worked on email signatures, email etiquette, the importance of that. We talked about what grounding exercises are, what value are you coming into the room with today, and how do you plan on like embodying that as you're here. And then I taught them APA 7th edition referencing because they're going to need that for their assignments. We didn't get to practice the skill um, together as a class. We had like just started it, but um, we are going to practice the next time that we meet using my P-Valley um, citation. So, but now they know how to access Google Scholar, what a peer reviewed article is, why the ordering of author names is important, what's the difference between a volume and an issue, what's a DOI, how to do a hanging indent. They literally learned so much today. So I have a meeting in a couple of minutes with IT to like get some stuff together for the class and then I have my own class in a couple hours too so I'm trying to get everything together but yeah so, under it like after they've read and, and done everything for the chapter and apparently there's another class that comes in after mine is over and <laughs> one of the girls walked in there and stopped <laughs> and looked at me with such like concern and i was like i'm not your professor and she was like oh no i thought you were her like the artist which is so funny to me because i everyone who knows me tells me that i look like her and and i don't mean like in a passive like yeah you know who you look like you look like her. i mean in a die hard the hill that they are willing to die on like trying to convince me that i look like her and i'm like i do not see it and every time i say that i don't see it they're like i you obviously don't know what you look like because but now i gotta go to um why was i about to say blockbuster <laughs> why was i about to say gotta go to blockbuster that's not where i'm going i'm going to the other place that reminds me of blockbuster Best Buy, that's what it's called. I gotta go to Best Buy and get an adapter for my thing. Cause I have an adapter, I just don't know where it is. And watch, as soon as I go there and I buy one for $70, then I'ma find the one that I have had. Um, so I gotta go do that. And I'm also hungry and I don't know if I have time to eat. And I need to get gas. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay y'all, so I just got to my classroom that I'm gonna be in for my last class of the day. Um, and I'm here like an hour early. Uh, so I finished teaching and then I had to get gas. I had to go get the cords and stuff from Best Buy. Um, I had to go get food because I hadn't eaten since like 6 a.m. And yeah, now I'm here about an hour before class is about to start. And I'm just gonna work on getting some stuff done. So I need to upload some of the documents for my students. I also need to work on my manuscript so I can get this next round of feedback and revision in with my mentor. Um, but as I'm like sitting here setting up, hold on, I'll show y'all my setup. This is me having lunch before everybody gets here. But as I'm setting my stuff up, I'm realizing that I'm actually really happy. Like I am doing stuff that I love. Like I have been running around all day today, obviously as y'all have seen. But getting to be in prac and asking questions and learning the real skills of how we're doing this and intake forms and documentation and ethics and this and that and being able to talk about it in context of actual clients and that, like I am living the life. I'm like I'm excited to sit here and work on this manuscript stuff and that's exactly what I wanted this semester to be so that I can see if this is actually how I want to live my life like professionally. <laughs> The way every black person is like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? Good morning, y'all. I have practicum today, which I'm so excited. I have actual clients, in person sessions, and telehealth sessions. So I'm very, very excited. And yeah. I think I want to take this with me today to the office. Okay, y'all. So I'm about to head out to prac. I'm dressed. I just have on a nice comfy sweater because it'd be cold in there sometimes. Um, so let's head off to prep.
Okay, y'all. So, this is my office. I have a door. Um, I lugged. <laughs> I lugged that heavy ass <laughs> salt lamp all over here. That bitch don't even work. It don't even work. When shit like that happens, I feel pissed off. So I just had my first client and it went really, really well. I'm on lunch right now, so I'm eating and reading my DSM, as you can see. <laughs> and then I have another client right after lunch and then I have supervision and then I have to do like notes and just everything else and then i think i'm just gonna be done for the day after that because i think i'm gonna be tapped <laughs> i also wanted to tell y'all that my word wall worked today this is my word wall so when i was like in informal supervision last year one of the things my supervisor told me was that when people say when you ask someone, how are you feeling? And they say, good. Good is not really an emotion, right? That's not really going to give us information to be able to anything from. Which I mentioned a long time ago, I think in my first um, day of my life vlog from first year. Um, which is crazy to think about now. But anyway, yes. Um, and so, right, sometimes we get into the habit of, oh, it felt good, oh, it felt bad, and not really getting into the descriptive emotion words. So I wanted to create a word wall to help my clients be able to better identify their emotions. These are clear as hell. Y'all, I can see shit I ain't never seen before in my entire life. I feel like I've seen an x-ray vision. Also, the thing about these, which is hilarious, is that they're actually sunglasses. So they didn't have any of the frames, which I can't remember if I told y'all or not. They didn't have any of the frames that I actually liked. So I got a pair of sunglasses and we popped them in the so. <laughs> Wait, I'm obsessed. These are so cute and they match my outfit. <laughs> Wait. So unfortunately, with teaching, as I told y'all, the stuff was backed up to begin with, and then there was difficulty with getting the students access to the e-textbook and everything. So we are basically beginning the semester already two weeks behind. We are literally a week behind. We're, we're two weeks behind. But what else is new? And again, this is my first time teaching as well. So this is like a very interesting experience. So I am working on the syllabus for the third time, reworking all of the page numbers and trying to figure out now how we're going to get all of this content in with two fewer weeks. The belongings before they go anywhere. And we're gonna need to retrace the steps. Okay, y'all. So I, I teach today in about three hours from now. And then after teaching, I have group therapy that I am what's called a process observer for. <clears throat> so right now I'm just reading this book for my class because the textbook was just made available yesterday. So now I'm reading it so that I can go there and teach it <laughs> in a couple of hours. <laughs> okay, Wednesday, it's time for me to go. All right, y'all. So this is the fit for today it's giving erica badu shaggy realness because <laughs> that's what it's giving okay we are talking about very objective things is there still some okay y'all so i went and taught class but right after class i had to go do group therapy so i really did not have any time to be able to stop and record and show y'all anything um but i just finished group <laughs> where me and my colleague realized that we had on the same exact page <laughs> Uh, we got on the same pants. It's the exact same pants from the drawer that I showed y'all. That I was like, I have like a million pairs of this pair of pants because they're delicious. And then I went and I got a smoothie bowl. And now I'm about to go home and eat and lay down and drink some water because I'm hot. I'm tired. Um, and all of that. That's going to be the end of my week and my life. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. And um, I have really great feelings about this semester. I think I'm really enjoying it because I'm finally able to do the embodied experience of all of the stuff and not just sitting in class because y'all know how I feel about class. At this point in the game, just makes this semester feel really, really, 
really good in a way that is very different from what it felt like last year so yeah <laughs>